Welcome to the full training of Windows 10 series. This is Zia Maliki from Information Technology. You are watching the fourth part of the full training of Windows 10 series. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to launch applications, how to move the windows around, how to minimize, maximize, and close the windows. So let's get started. Using Windows 10, we can launch one application or we can launch multiple applications at the same time. Let's give it a try. I will launch Microsoft Excel by simply clicking here on my taskbar and start building a spreadsheet. I can launch Microsoft Word and click its icon on the taskbar, it will open too. I can click on a blank document and start typing a letter or a piece of text. Once my applications are launched, I can use the blue title bar of the Word or the green title bar of the Excel to move the windows throughout. By grabbing the title bar with the left click of the mouse, I can hold left click and drag to move the windows around. You will notice if a window is behind another, I can click anywhere on the window to activate it and bring it forward. It's true for the other windows that is in the background, which is the Microsoft Excel application. You just simply click and bring it forward. Now, when you are activating a windows like this to bring it forward in front of the others, it's probably best to click on somewhere where there is no button or nothing to activate. You notice how I'm concentrating here on the blank space. Here. Here are perhaps here, but not here because it will close the word program. That makes it easier for us to activate the windows without activating a feature. Command or closing other applications. Look for the blank spaces to bring the windows forward. To move a windows, again, we grab it by the title bar. But to size the windows, we can put our mouse anywhere on the edge of a window. The bottom right corner, the bottom edge, the bottom left corner, and the same with the left side and top side. We can simply grab the windows and we can size it to our liking, larger or smaller. The same works for any other windows. Let's bring this windows forward. We can move it and we can size it to make it larger or smaller. On the upper right side of the windows, we have the minimize, the maximize and the close button. To minimize our windows, we simply click and what it does is that it takes this window without closing it and puts it down on the taskbar for easy access later. When I run it back, I can simply click to bring it back. I'm going to click the minimize button 
and see what happens. Yes, indeed. The windows just went down. So to bring it back, I can just click on it to bring it right back. I can also click the maximize button which will fill the entire screen with that window. Notice that the box has now turned into a double box. If we click it, it will take the windows back to its normal size. We call it the restore button. And then finally, the close button on the upper right side will close that window. The same is true with almost all your other windows. The minimize, the maximize, and the close button. Which most of the applications and windows have. This feature is almost same with all applications and windows. Almost all of them have the minimize, the maximize and the close buttons. So now we have learned how to launch applications, move the windows around, size them and close them. Stay tuned for a couple of new features on Windows 10 in the next part of this Windows 10 full training series for sizing and moving windows. You are gonna love it. Take a moment now, go back and try it yourself. Open up a few programs move the windows around, size them, minimize them, maximize them, and then close them. And join me back here for our next video. Stay safe and healthy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials.